We continue to count down to the opening bell, and we're not halfway through, and that means that it's time for our deep dive into number five, man camps turning into ghost towns. Back when oil was trading at $100, drillers spent big on man camps in Texas, North Dakota, Colorado. Back then, they were serving ribeye. Now, it's chicken fried steak. Energy companies are looking to slash as much as $114 billion in spending this year, which means these camps are dying off as the oil industry falters. Bloomberg's David Wethy just wrote this story from Bloomberg Business Week, joins us now from Houston. So, uh, David, uh, from ribeye to chicken fried steak, what else are we seeing? Uh, you know, how, how bad it is at these man camps. Yeah, I mean, these man camps were nice at one point. I mean, the, the guys liked being there. Uh, one guy told me, you know, <laughs> believe it or not, they had uh, shrimp, steak, and lobster that would be catered out to the well site wow. uh, nearby while they worked. I mean, it was it was a good time basically just to keep them working, uh, keep them, you know, productive and happy. And you had a lot of turnover where guys would kind of go from one company to another. And so the companies felt like, you know, we, we got to do this as sort of a retention tool. And so you had some nice stuff. You had really nice uh, direct TV, uh, you know, accommodations, hundreds of channels, you know, right at their fingertip when they'd lay back in the room, uh, back of the man camps. I mean, th there was a lot of nice perks. And some of the man camps went from sort of standardized to some, you know, really pitched themselves as being luxurious. And right. So you're, you're now seeing some of these man camps uh, really losing a lot of their, their business big time. Uh, one that pitched themselves as sort of a ranch style getaway kind of deal that converted itself from a hunting ranch to a pure oil field man camp says they're now at 10% occupancy, whereas they were full once before. So they've wow. now got to lower their rates um, and try to just bring in business. They're still trying to sound optimistic like this won't uh, be down for too long, but I talked to a service company yesterday that said, yeah, I mean, the longer that the oil market stays down like this, the more that these cost cuts could be more structural and a little bit more permanent than just sort of a so, dip down and bounce back up. So there is one company, uh, guys, let's bring up the stock chart on this. Civio uh, is an oil field housing supplier, so tied to these man camps. I mean, just look uh, uh, David, at this drop in the stock price, down 83 percent, uh, based on the decline in oil prices and the and 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 the uh, essentially the emptying out of these camps, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and they've talked about how they've had to uh, close some of their camps down, some of them uh, up in the uh, oil sands area and, and elsewhere. They don't have a whole lot of camps necessarily in the U.S. in particular, but they've definitely been, been feeling the pinch as well. And, and they're not alone. I mean, you're definitely seeing other man camps that are being mothballed and, uh, and the you know, chain going up to, to close them. So, uh, you know, the, 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 the push is for these workers to go into cheaper locations or even sort of take on the rent check themselves, uh, whereas in the past they were getting a per diem and so either the right. per diem from the company is getting trimmed or cut entirely but the shift is away from these man camps into more RV style housing just a plain old lot and, and a lot of times the workers will just buy their own RV or rent their own RV and they'll sort of move from job site to job site and be more mobile and this is going to get worse so we keep hearing more and more oil companies cutting jobs you were just on the call uh, with Schlumberger uh, and they've announced more job cuts so tell me what they said on the call yeah, I mean, they, they said in their earnings release yesterday they're going to uh, lay off 11,000 more workers globally. Uh, that's on top of the 9,000 they already uh, announced. And that was the biggest single uh, job cut from any one company so far we've seen in the oil market uh, downturn. So now that's 20,000. Today on the call, I mean, they sort of reiterated a little bit more what they said, that uh, – that it's getting pushed out as far as any kind of recovery, and any co sort of recovery won't be necessarily to the levels we've seen uh, as good in the past uh, anytime soon. So uh, sort of bracing for this to last uh, a little bit longer.